And as we said earlier, the British Parliament will vote later today on recognizing the state of Palestine. The House of uh, Commons symbol, symbolic motion uh, is a poise to, pa uh, to pass uh, despite Britain's history of refusing to approve a previous and similar uh, bids. And uh, right now uh, with me, not Dimitri Deliani. He's not coming back yet again to the studio for now. Uh, but uh, our I-24 News uh, London correspondent, Jonathan uh, Sasha Doty, good evening. Thank you very much for joining us. Good evening. I promise to be a little calmer. <laughs> yeah, let's try. I believe that you are much calmer. Uh, uh, let's try to understand what are the latest developments on this matter specifically. So the debate is actually ongoing right now um, over here in the United Kingdom, in London, in the House of Commons. We've just heard quite an impassioned speech from um, James Clapperson, a Conservative MP, who spoke against the motion. And we're hearing uh, one by one speeches uh, both in proposition and opposition to this motion, which, as you say, is a symbolic uh, recognition, unilateral recognition of Palestinian statehood. And I emphasize that word symbolic because while it is of some significance if this gets passed, it is something that won't change UK government policy in any way. And the Prime Minister's spokesperson has made that very clear that the UK's policy will not change in terms of recognition, even if this motion passes today. Yeah, uh, Jonathan, allow me to say something, but it uh, smells fishy a little bit. How come they are doing this uh, debate, this symbolic debate in the parliament? So uh, recently there's been a change in procedure in terms of how debates can be brought to the UK Parliament, which made it easier for backbench MPs to bring certain motions for debate into the chamber. Uh, once upon a time it would have been uh, easier for the government uh, in collaboration with the opposition to chuck out through procedural measures such debates that would be awkward for the country. But now there's been a change in process which has enabled this sort of debate to be brought by interested parties who have a belief, an impassioned belief, that something needs debate. And as Jack Straw, just speaking in, in the House, said, this may be of only symbolic significance, but the fact that it would be a resolution passed by the elected members of Parliament of the United Kingdom would still give a clear signal, and he's quite right, that if they do pass such a motion, or indeed reject such a motion, it would give a clear signal that these elected representatives of the British population have a particular opinion, regardless of whether the government at the time actually imposes that particular decision as policy. Where does Cameron stand on the topic? Well, David Cameron, as I said, his spokesman made it clear that government policy won't be changing as a result of this. And David Cameron is not taking part in the debate. He's not present. Uh, he's also asked his cabinet ministers not to be present and not to take part. Uh, interestingly, in terms of which parties are for and against this motion, we've seen quite a mix-up in the Labour Party, where Ed Miliband has actually requested that his uh, MPs, the Labour MPs, should vote for this motion, i.e. should vote for unilateral recognition of a Palestinian state. And yet, when he was uh, faced with the idea that this would divide his party, those who supported Israel very strongly and felt that this was not a helpful action to take in terms of making peace one day between Palestinians and Israelis, well, at that point, he somewhat reeled back and said that those yeah. who didn't want to vote for it could not attend. But he expected Labour MPs who were attending to vote for it, which is a peculiar uh, use of the party whip, it's saying that everyone must vote for it or be punished, but if they'd rather not, they can simply not attend. And this is really showing just how complex an issue this is in terms of public opinion and opinion in Parliament. But also, the slightly yeah. ridiculous nature of all of this is it, that ultimately it doesn't change policy in any way. Yeah, and uh, everything got to do with politics, like we know always. Uh, Jonathan, uh, Sasha Doty, thank you very much for this. Thank you.